Tonight on the future of everything, we've got three eye atlas updates and maybe even our best shot yet to clearly see the third interstellar object ever detected passing through our solar system. Just when we thought 3i slash ATLAS was the only interstellar visitor, NASA drops a bombshell. Four more objects are on their way. These mysterious travelers, all converging on the same path, are causing chaos in our sky. From glowing comets to silent radar-detected asteroids, their synchronized movements are defying all logic. Are these cosmic wanderers a natural phenomenon, or is something else at play? Four mysterious objects close in. In the last few months, something truly extraordinary has unfolded in our corner of the universe, and it all started with a faint flicker in the night sky. A mysterious interstellar object named 3i slash ATLAS made headlines in 2023 when it was confirmed as the first known interstellar comet to enter our solar system. But now, NASA has made an even more stunning revelation. It's not alone. In fact, four more objects, each following a similar trajectory, have been detected in our sky, converging on Earth's orbital path. It all began when astronomers across the world reported faint signals from their telescopes, almost as if the universe was sending out a warning. These signals were coming from four separate objects that, at first, seemed unrelated, until further analysis revealed something astonishing. All four of these bodies were not only inbound to the solar system, but they were also moving in perfect sync, entering our neighborhood at virtually the same time. At the moment of detection, no one could have predicted just how aligned their paths would be. Four objects, each seemingly following a course that brought them dangerously close to Earth's own orbital path. Their trajectories weren't parallel, nor were they moving randomly through space. Instead, they all seemed to be guided along the same mysterious corridor, a shared gravitational route that defied conventional understanding. These objects, the Green Wanderer, the Long-Tailed Intruder, the split light and the silent one seemed to be more than just visitors from distant parts of the cosmos. As these objects were observed by astronomers at multiple observatories in Chile, Arizona and Namibia, the initial excitement turned to suspicion. What made this even more baffling was that while each object had its own unique characteristics, their movements seemed perfectly aligned. This alignment prompted scientists to ask some difficult questions. Could these objects be following a calculated path, one that led them directly into the inner solar system? What could be causing their trajectories to synchronize so precisely? And what could possibly be guiding these objects into our cosmic neighborhood at the exact same time? The first to catch the attention of astronomers was the Green Wanderer, a comet that quickly earned its name because of its eerie emerald glow. This wasn't just any ordinary comet, its brightness was far greater than what scientists had expected, especially for an object of its size. Spectral analysis revealed that the green hue was being caused by diatomic carbon, a molecule that glows green when it's exposed to ultraviolet radiation from the sun. But what caught scientists off guard was the energy curve of the comet. As it approached, it seemed to be absorbing sunlight at a much faster rate than anticipated, with its core brightening incrementally in ways that didn't match predictions. The Green Wanderer seemed to be responding to the light, as if something inside the comet was amplifying its energy output. Next up was the Long-Tailed Intruder, also known as Lemon. Unlike the Green Wanderer, this was a comet that had been catalogued years earlier, expected to simply fade into the dark void of space as it completed its long looping orbit. But, in an unexpected twist, the Lemon Comet reignited with a vengeance, forming a tail so massive that it stretched nearly 100 million kilometers, long enough to reach halfway to Mars. Scientists were baffled by its massive tail, but what really caused concern was the unexpected trajectory shifts. It wasn't just the solar radiation that was pushing it along its path. Small, unexplainable adjustments in its orbit were detected, and this behavior couldn't be chalked up to gravity alone. In fact, these subtle yet precise orbital changes seem to be making Lemon align with the other objects in a way that shouldn't have been possible naturally, as if the comet was following an unseen force, guiding it in ways that went against traditional orbital mechanics. Then came Tsuchin Shan ATLAS, or the split light, 
a comet with a truly strange light curve. Unlike the steady brightness of the other comets, this one exhibited irregular flickering, alternating between dim and bright, as if it were pulsing in sync with some kind of internal clock. Even more unusual were the radio pulses that scientists detected. These pulses appeared to follow a consistent nine-hour pattern, which was eerily similar to the pulses picked up from Lemon and Green Wanderer. The comet seemed to be sending signals, or at least radiating energy in a way that implied there was more to it than just frozen rock and gas. The final object, 2024 YR4, was perhaps the most perplexing of all. Unlike the others, this asteroid didn't shine or emit any noticeable light. In fact, it didn't emit anything at all, at least not in the usual way. Instead, it was detected through radar backscatter, and when scientists observed its surface, they found something strange. It reflected light in a pattern that synced perfectly with the nine-hour radio pulses from the comets. This asteroid was tumbling through space at high speed, yet its movements seemed almost deliberate. With no visible tail, no outgassing, and no glow, it remained silent as it passed through the same cosmic corridor as the other objects, but its synchronization with the other bodies was too perfect to ignore. As these objects neared Earth, something even stranger began to happen scientists began recording anomalies in the atmosphere. Auroras intensified, geomagnetic micropulses surged, and even radio signals were disrupted. These disturbances appeared to be directly linked to the object's movement and their mysterious nine-hour pattern. But what was causing them? And more importantly, how were these objects managing to produce such effects on Earth, even though they were still far from our planet? In the final stages of their approach, something equally strange occurred, the objects disappeared from a view. After passing through Earth's orbital plane, the objects simply vanished from all observation. Despite the efforts of global space agencies to track them, the objects were gone. Official reports suggested that they had passed safely, but internal data suggested otherwise. All four objects seemed to have cut off their signals at the exact same time. It was as if the cosmic event had ended as quickly and mysteriously as it had begun. Natural forces, or something else. Four interstellar objects, all converging toward our solar system at once, all moving along eerily synchronized paths. How is this even possible? Is this some sort of cosmic coincidence, or is something else at play here? The first key to understanding how these objects were detected lies in the sophisticated technology that astronomers use to peer deep into the cosmos. For decades, we've relied on optical telescopes to capture images of distant stars, planets, and comets. But optical observations have limitations. They can't see through the dense cosmic dust or detect the heat of cold, distant bodies. That's where infrared telescopes come in. They're designed to pick up the faint heat signatures emitted by objects far out in space, allowing us to detect even the most elusive of interstellar bodies. And yet, Infrared alone doesn't tell the whole story. Radar and radio arrays provide a different piece of the puzzle, sending signals to these objects and measuring the return signals to track their movement and behavior with incredible precision. In the case of these four inbound interstellar objects, astronomers used an array of these tools to track their movement across space. These objects were first noticed by astronomers using infrared telescopes in Chile, Arizona, and Namibia. Then, radar systems confirmed their trajectories, and radio arrays picked up on peculiar energy pulses, revealing something truly bizarre. A near-perfect alignment of their orbital paths. And that's where the real mystery begins. The chances of four interstellar objects aligning in such a precise way, traveling along the same cosmic corridor at the same time, is statistically so improbable that it's almost beyond comprehension. Statistically speaking, the odds of such an alignment are so small that scientists have calculated them to be less than 1 in 50 million. Typically, interstellar objects like Oumuamua and Borisov follow irregular, erratic paths. These objects are often on long journeys through space, coming from the depths of the galaxy, and they rarely interact with one another. Their trajectories are unpredictable, their movements seemingly random. For instance, Oumuamua, which was detected in 2017, traveled at an astonishing speed, 
unlike anything astronomers had seen before, and its elongated shape led to a great deal of speculation about its true nature. Similarly, Borisov, the second known interstellar comet discovered in 2019, displayed some unusual features but followed a more conventional trajectory. But what makes the current batch of interstellar visitors so perplexing is their behavior. It's the fact that they're doing something no one expected. They're exhibiting anomalous, unexplained features that challenge our understanding of comet behavior. The Green Wanderer, for example, is absorbing sunlight at an accelerated rate, with its energy curve increasing exponentially as it nears the sun, far faster than predicted. This behavior suggests that something within the comet is amplifying the sunlight it receives. Could there be an unknown process at work inside this object? And what about the Lemon Comet? Its tail, which stretches an incredible 100 million kilometers, isn't just big, it's also acting erratically. Researchers observed small, precise changes in its trajectory that can't be explained by gravity alone, raising the question of whether some other force is influencing its path. Then, there's the split light object. This comet is flickering, its light curve alternating between periods of brightness and dimness as if it's responding to some external stimulus. What's even stranger is the fact that it seems to be emitting radio pulses with a periodicity that matches that of the other objects. This nine-hour cycle has been detected in both the Lemon and Green Wanderer objects, and now it's appearing in split light as well. Finally, there's the Silent One, the dark asteroid that seems to be following the same path as the others, except that it doesn't emit any light not even the faintest glow. This object is detectable only by radar, and what's even more bizarre is that its rotation appears to be synchronized with the radio pulses from the other objects. The asteroid is tumbling through space, but its rotation matches a nine-hour cycle, the same cycle found in the comets. This clustering of objects raises many questions about the forces at play. How are these objects behaving the way they are, and what could be driving their unusual movements? A common explanation for the behavior of comets and asteroids is outgassing, the process where sunlight heats the frozen material in the comet, causing gas and dust to be released, which creates the iconic tail. This outgassing is usually what causes comets to accelerate and change direction. But the behavior of these four objects doesn't entirely fit that mold. The origins of these objects are just as mysterious. Interstellar objects come from the vast regions between the stars, so tracing their origins is a daunting task. These objects likely traveled vast distances before entering the solar system, possibly coming from the farthest reaches of our galaxy, or even beyond. But tracking their journey to this point is next to impossible, given the vast distances and the timescales involved. The fact that we can even detect them as they pass through the solar system is a remarkable feat, but understanding their origins is a much bigger challenge. Some scientists speculate that these objects could be remnants of stars or planets from distant solar systems, or perhaps even material from a dead star or black hole. But without more data, it's impossible to say for sure. The truth behind the nine-hour pulse. Could these objects be part of some natural cosmic phenomenon, or is there something more extraordinary at play? As scientists continue to analyze the data, multiple hypotheses are being considered, each offering a different potential explanation for this unusual clustering of interstellar visitors. One of the first natural explanations that comes to mind is the idea that these objects could be fragments of a larger parent body, perhaps a comet or asteroid that was broken apart during its journey through space. Over time, the pieces would continue their paths in roughly similar trajectories, as they are affected by the same forces like gravity. This theory would help explain the alignment of their paths, as all the pieces would be traveling through similar gravitational corridors, perhaps even within a specific region of space where the gravitational forces of nearby stars or black holes are influencing their trajectories. This idea of a gravitational corridor is one that scientists have explored before, but the alignment of these four objects, combined with their unusual behavior, suggests that something far more complex might be at play. Could there be a local phenomenon that is affecting these objects in ways we don't yet understand? It's possible that unusual interstellar conditions are influencing their behavior. For instance, dust filaments. 
magnetic structures or other cosmic elements that we haven't fully observed yet might be creating an environment that these objects are moving through, acting almost like a conveyor belt, guiding them toward our solar system. But what if the answer isn't entirely natural? What if we're dealing with something far more extraordinary, something that challenges everything we know about space and technology? The idea that these objects could be artificial probes sent from another civilization is one of the more intriguing hypotheses gaining traction. After all, their synchronization, not just in terms of their trajectories, but also in the periodic energy pulses that have been detected, raises the possibility that they might be working in unison, much like probes sent out in a coordinated effort. What would support this theory? For one, sustained signals or emissions that aren't easily explained by natural phenomena could be a key piece of the puzzle. If these objects were artificial, they might be transmitting information, responding to our detection efforts, or even acting as scouts sent by some unknown civilization. Alternatively, the materials that compose these objects could offer important clues. If they contain metals or substances not commonly found in natural objects, that could point toward a manufactured origin. However, there are challenges to this idea as well. While the radio emissions from these objects are indeed intriguing, there's still no definitive proof that these signals are anything but natural. The nine-hour cycle that seems to be present across all four objects could be a coincidental feature of their cosmic path, not necessarily a deliberate transmission pattern. We might just be witnessing an unexpected alignment of natural forces, but that doesn't rule out the possibility that these objects could be engineered, especially if more evidence starts to emerge over the coming weeks and months. At the heart of the mystery lies the gravitational forces acting on these objects. Could an unseen force be guiding their paths in ways we don't yet understand? For instance, gravitational influences from nearby stars or even unseen planets could be having an effect on these objects. But more intriguingly, it's possible that there could be a hidden or undetected object, something massive enough to alter their trajectories, lurking just out of sight. Is there a planet, a rogue star or something else in the far reaches of the solar system that's influencing their movements? Could the gravitational pull of an unseen body be shaping the paths of these objects, making them converge toward Earth? As the objects pass through the solar system, their presence has already begun to make an impact on Earth's environment. The auroras, the geomagnetic micropulses, and the interference with radio and satellite systems are all telltale signs that these objects are interacting with Earth's magnetosphere in some way. What's especially fascinating is that these disturbances seem to follow the same periodic pattern as the object's movements, suggesting a direct correlation between their arrival and the changes in Earth's electromagnetic field. What does this mean for our planet? Could these objects be leaving behind some sort of cosmic wake that affects our atmosphere? Or is their interaction with Earth's magnetic field simply a temporary anomaly? The passage of these interstellar objects raises significant questions about planetary defense and our ability to monitor and respond to such cosmic threats. While the precise detection of these four objects demonstrates the impressive advancements in space observation technology, it also highlights the many unknowns that still exist. Could there be even more potentially hazardous objects on their way to Earth, ones we haven't detected yet? How should space agencies and governments prepare for such encounters? What steps can we take now to better understand the forces behind these objects and ensure we're ready for any future collisions or cosmic events? There are still many unanswered questions that continue to baffle scientists. What's causing the mysterious nine-hour pulse that seems to resonate across all four objects? Why are the trajectories of these interstellar visitors so perfectly synchronized as if they were intentionally guided? Are we witnessing a completely new phenomenon that challenges everything we know about cosmic objects? Or is there a natural explanation for this strange alignment? The next steps in this investigation are essential. With more data, we'll be one step closer to understanding what's truly behind these cosmic visitors. Planetary defense, it seems, is more urgent now than ever before. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the next video for more exciting content.